Hello and welcome to the in-depth series section of Drishti IAS. I am Aisha and in today's episode we will be discussing about the topic of diabetes and India has set up its first diabetes bio bank. So, a very good and a very positive step with regard to the science and technology, the scientific knowledge and the upcoming innovations in the sense that the diabetes or the diseases which are causing so much of problem and so much of loss of human life now the research and development portion will be becoming easier in the coming times so first of all about the points of discussion first we will be looking at the news then diabetes biobank what is it is what is diabetes as a disease what are the different types of diabetes and in the end prelims mcq topic is of relevance from general studies paper 2 that is health now moving forward the news talks about india sets up its first diabetes biobank so the different blood samples will be present at one single place and this one single place will make the upcoming scientific innovations and the scientific knowledge or the research and development projects in the coming times lot more easier as we move forward drishti ias mukherjee nagar classes has now been shifted to noida and the, if you are travelling by the metro station, then the nearest metro station is Noida sector 15 and the Hindi medium offline batches and the English medium offline batches are going on. So, the admissions are open. If you want to know about the exact address, then the link is also provided in the description box and the address is C171 oblique 2 block A sector 15 Noida. If you have any query, give us a call at 9311406440. And apart from Noida classes, the offline batches in English medium are also starting in Lucknow from 23rd December and Delhi from 23rd December. Keeping in mind your 2025 upcoming UPSC examination, Drishti IAS has come up with a new program that is Sambhav 2025 and this will cover both your prelims and mains preparation as on daily basis 10 Prelims MCQ you will be getting plus two mains answer writing practice, in-depth analysis of previous year question, complete coverage of general studies and current affairs. This is all you will be getting in Sambhav 2025. Now the news talks about that India has set up the country's first ever diabetes biobank in Chennai. So whenever something happens for the first time it becomes special. So this is India's first ever diabetes biobank situated in Chennai, Tamil Nadu and it is an initiative in which the collaboration of ICMR, ICMR stands for Indian Council of Medical Research, so a collaboration between ICMR and the MDRF that is Madras Diabetes Research Foundation and the aim is to boost scientific research and treatment for diabetes in the country as India is known as the capital of diabetes and more than 10 crore patients of diabetes are present in India. And it is also one of the major causes, which major disease which causes the health issues in so many people and the number goes into crores. So, it becomes all the more important to look for the aspect that the scientific research needs to strengthen and the scientific research criteria needs to broaden because it is the scientific research which will lead to further innovations, which will, which will lead to any kind of better treatment, affordable treatment and efficient treatment. So, all these things require scientific research and the creation of the diabetes biobank will help in the scientific research for diabetes. Now, about the diabetes biobank, what are the different facilities that will be provided? So, this will be a repository of biological samples and these samples are collected from different populations to aid scientific research. Repository means that a place where many samples will be kept. So, many samples when they are kept at one single place, that one single place is known as the repository. So, different population, different population means that the people of different age group and the people who are suffering from diabetes, so their samples will be kept at one place. So, that further studies and scientific studies, research and development science and technology with the use of it, better equipments are used so that something good can come up in future. 
and it is designed to collect process store and distribute bio specimens to support ongoing and further studies collect means that from different population the specimens will be collected then they will be processed then they will be stored and then they can be distributed to other people then house blood samples blood samples for various forms of diabetes including type 1 diabetes type 2 diabetes or gestational diabetes so we all know that diabetes are of different types like type 1 type 2 and gestational diabetes so different samples of people suffering from these different type of diabetes will also be kept at one place now coming to what is diabetes now whenever we hear the term diabetes what does it mean and whenever we talk about diabetes there is one more term that we talk about that is insulin so what is diabetes so diabetes is a chronic disease now when we say chronic disease it means a disease which can last for more than a year and requires time and treatment for its and requires time and treatment so it is a chronic disease that occurs when the pancreas is unable to produce insulin or when the body cannot use insulin effectively insulin is a hormone now insulin is a hormone which is produced in our body in pancreas now pancreas is a organ in our body so pancreas produces insulin and insulin is responsible for keeping in check the blood sugar levels in our body and that is why insulin is important so when the body is not using insulin properly or when the body is not producing insulin properly so what will happen the blood sugar level in the blood will rise and the rise of blood sugar level causes diabetes so insulin plays a major role in it and what is it what is the insulin it is a hormone who produces insulin pancreas and within pancreas the beta cells of pancreas so insulin is a hormone that helps regulate blood glucose levels and if the body fails to produce enough insulin or insulin in proper quantity then it results in the high blood glucose levels and the high blood glucose level is a condition and this condition is known as hyperglycemia so hyperglycemia is basically a condition in which the blood sugar level of a person rises to very high conditions and that is why it is known as hyper hyper it means something which is in very high quantity hyperglycemia because the insulin is not being produced properly or the insulin is not being consumed or the body is not able to properly use insulin and the major cause of critical health conditions such as so with regard to diabetes what are the symptoms or what happens because of diabetes the negative effects are blindness kidney failure heart attack stroke and lower limb amputations so these are the things which can take place or these are the these are the consequences of diabetes then india often called the diabetes capital of the world and according to the icmr and india b study over 10 crore diabetes cases are there in india and more than 13.6 crore pre diabetic cases are found in india then the diabetes rate in india has also increased significantly over the years and in women women specifically we talk about then the prevalence has jumped from 11.9% in 1990 and it has more than doubled to 23.7% in the year 2022 while if we talk about the men then the prevalence has risen from 11.3% to 21.4% during the same period that is from 1990 to 2022 so in both male and female the number of diabetes or the diabetes prevalence the number of diabetes cases has become doubled then according to the 2022 lancet study 62 percent of diabetes diabetics in india equivalent to 13.3 crore individuals they are not receiving any form of treatment or medication so people are suffering from diabetes and they are not receiving any treatment or medication for diabetes and this makes the situation even worse for the people and also for the country because the diabetes burden on a country increases then after india because india the maximum number of diabetes cases are observed after india comes china which is on, at second position with around 
14.8 करोड़ डायबिटीज फॉलोड बाय यूएस अराउंड 4.2 करोड़ पाकिस्तान 3.6 करोड़ इंडोनेशिया 2.5 करोड़ एंड ब्राजील 2.2 करोड़ नाउ इफ वी टॉक टॉक अबाउट द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ डायबिटीज सो बेसिकली देयर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ डायबिटीज दैट इज डायबिटीज टाइप 1 एंड डायबिटीज टाइप 2 सो लेट अस टॉक अबाउट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज डायबिटीज टाइप 1 एंड व्हाट इज डायबिटीज टाइप 2 सो टाइप 1 when your body is no longer able to produce insulin so in this insulin the body it means the pancreas beta cells they are not producing enough insulin in the body so body is not able to produce insulin in type 1 while in type 2 the body is able to produce insulin but it but it doesn't make enough of it or doesn't use it efficiently type 1 body is not producing insulin Type 2 body is producing insulin but is not producing in sufficient quantity or the body is not able to efficiently use insulin. So, there is difference. Not producing insulin, insulin is being produced but is not being used properly. Then the age, so type 1 diabetes usually develops during childhood but it can develop at any stage. While the type 2 diabetes, it can develop at any stage but most commonly in adults over the age group of 45. So, type 1 majorly in childhood, type 2 majorly in adults above age 45. Now, risk factor, type 1 diabetes is family history, type 2 diabetes can ha happen because of overweight or inactive, inactivity, family history or high blood pressure. Then, what are the symptoms? Symptoms of type 1 diabetes is wet, wedding, blurry vision, frequent urination, increased appetite and thrust. While for type 2, the symptoms are increased appetite and thrust, dark patches on armpits, frequent urination, blurry vision, vision, tiredness and weakness and weight loss also. If we talk about the prevention, so the diabetes type 1 prevention is not known, preventive measures can be taken and type 2 diabetes is healthy, lifestyle can be followed by people. Treatment, insulin in injections in type 1 diabetes while healthy living and possible insulin support. So, insulin injections, you will see that if anyone, any person around you is suffering from diabetes, then you will see that they take insulin injections so that the blood sugar level can be kept at a check. Now, coming to the third type of diabetes, that is the gestational diabetes. This is high blood sugar levels that develop during pregnancy. So, this majorly happens during pregnancy. And it can lead to complications for both the mother and the child. But after the childbirth, birth, it disappears also. In some cases, it remains. But in majority of the cases, the gestational diabetes, it disappears after the childbirth. So, this was about diabetes, biobank and also about the type of diabetes. Now, in the end, a prelims MCQ. And like always, you people will give me the answer in the comment section. So, the World Diabetes Day is observed on 10th of November, 14th of November, 15th of December or 20th December. So, give me the answer in the comment section and that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Till we meet next time, keep reading, keep writing and keep subscribing to the channel. Thank you. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.